everyone, I'm Pierre V. Piazza and I'm going to talk to you about our last paper in science. So this paper shows a few interesting things. The first is the it provides the first correlate between transition to addiction, uh, in other words, the shift from a controlled drug intake to a compulsive drug intake with loss of control and we show that uh, selectively in uh, drug addict uh, there is a loss of synaptic plasticity and particular a loss of LTD, long-term depression. The consequence of this impairment in function can be that the behavior became more, more, less and less flexible and the, the, and the, the animal for this region or the individual that present this impairment I have trouble controlling the behavior and become addicted. However, the paper probably <coughs> uh, the most interesting finding of the, uh, of the paper concerned the uh, process of addiction. In the sense that the common view is to say that there are individuals that are resistant to the drug, that do not develop addiction, maintain and control of drug intake, even though they take drug for a long period of time, and other individuals that are vulnerable and that develop drug intake. So the idea is to think that drug induces a pathological uh, modification selectively in vulnerable individuals. Uh, and that resistant to one are impervious to this change. Actually, what we have found is quite different. After a moderate period of drug intake, synaptic plasticity is impaired in all individuals. This independently, independently of their future, if they are going to keep a control of drug intake or develop uh, addiction. The difference is that uh, individuals that are resistant to drugs seem to be able to reverse this impairment. In other words, they are able to give what we can call a metaplastic response to the first uh, response to the drug and recover a normal LTD. Otherwise, uh, addict animals show something that looks like a real anaplasticity, cannot recover the function and develop addiction. In other words, drugs seem to act badly in everyone, and uh, individuals that do not develop addiction are simply able to reverse this. The implication is that probably when we were looking for therapies, we were looking in the wrong place. In the sense we have always looked at the addicted brain and maybe we should look in the brain of individuals who can take drug but in a controlled way because understanding how they can reverse the negative effect of drugs we can maybe develop new therapy of addiction. That's it. Thank you very much.